Buenos dias. Today we're coming to you from the Royal Palace of Madrid here in Madrid, Spain. The current structure behind me took on its shape in the year 1560, though it existed prior to that. It was the home of the Spanish royal family and their court. Let's go check it out. I'm at the Royal Palace of Madrid. There are 3,418 rooms here, and it was designed with a very French architectural influence. If you wanted to sleep in one room each night, it would take you nine and a half years. And the current royal family doesn't actually live here. They live somewhere outside of the city. In 1561, King Philip II moved the capital from Toledo to Madrid, and when he did, he commissioned this plaza. More than 40 years, two kings and two architects later, they finally finished it. These beautiful murals behind me are known as La Casa de la Paderia, which was actually the baker's house, and across the way was the butcher's house. This statue of King Philip was believed to have been cursed for hundreds of years because there was a nasty smell that was emanating from the vicinity of the statue. It wasn't until 1931 when they opened it up that they realized it was full of dead, rotting birds and that was the cause of the smell. Here's an interesting fact. Today you see a fun, bustling Christmas market behind me. But hundreds of years ago during the Spanish Inquisition, they used to do public executions here. Behind me is the Botine restaurant, and it's the oldest restaurant in the world that's still operating, and they have a Guinness certificate to prove it. And here's a fun fact. Goya, the famous painter, was actually a dishwasher here. This plaque certifies that this restaurant has been in operation for more than 100 years. And if you want to eat here, make a reservation, because it's really hard to get a table. And a full culinary experience will cost you 40 euros per person. At those two traffic lights behind me, there used to be a gate, which prevented the people from coming over from this side of the town to this side where all the bars and all the sin was located. Now this giant cross was put up here by the religious powers to remind people that you should take your religious sensibilities into account before you make the trip into this part of town, which is probably more fun because, you know, who doesn't like to get a drink once in a while? Behind me is the Catedral de Santa Maria la Real de la Almudina. Now in 1561, when the seat of power was located in Toledo and they moved it to Madrid, they needed to build a cathedral. Well, plans were drawn up for this. So we're at the Mercado de San Miguel. There is delicious seafood and fruit and meat and all kinds of different sandwiches and tapas, everything you can imagine. And of course, alcohol, I'm drinking a sangria. It is super delicious. Let's get into the food because I'm hungry. All right, so here we have Icelandic cod liver, smoked. It's good. 
it's really almost buttery. Just try it. Okay, so this is the octopus tapas. So here we have sea urchin, which is the first time I'm eating it, and it kind of smells a mix of like seawater and bleach. Yeah. I don't even, should we put some lemon on it? Let's go. And <laughs> there's almost nothing in here. How is it? Wow, with the lemon, it's actually really good. And then all of a sudden you taste a really bad taste. No. Oh, really? It goes from good to the bad. Yeah. Like medicine? It goes <laughs> back to medicine, yeah. It goes back to seawater and bleach. But you have to finish it. We do. We do. All right. Mm. Okay. I think that's the first and last one I'm ever going to have. This thing is so prickly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Right now, we are in Madrid, and apparently this place here is a typical calamari sandwich place. So it's really, really popular amongst the locals. Um, so we're gonna give it a try. Super popular here. Not the healthiest thing in the world, but we're still gonna give it a try. So, let's try it. Okay. I could see why it's popular. <laughs> so Spain has been wonderful, guys. We've got to explore a few different towns and cities. We've had a lot of fun. So hopefully we'll see you on the next episode. But in the meantime, hasta luego.